Hi guys, welcome back to my XVS video. Now, on this week, we finally got Final Fantasy IX banner like I have been predicted. But on this week, we only get two characters, Zidane and Neo Vision Awakened Beatrix. So let's start from Zidane. So what's so special about Zidane? I believe you have heard so many good things about him. And yes, after looking on his upload list, I must say, he is amazing. First of all, his normal limit burst can grant your party 250% limit burst damage buff. Okay, so that's pretty insane because most characters usually like have 200% self limit burst damage. Sure, some characters have 250% limit burst damage buff, but they usually come from grandest ability so once they have used their grandest ability you run out of the 250% limit burst damage buff but for Zidane you don't need to worry because it is from his limit burst and if you think that 250% limit burst damage buff is not special his STMR is another meta thing on this game his STMR can grant you 300% limit burst damage buff. Yes, it is from what I know is the maximum buff on the game. Okay, 300%, very amazing. This will allow you to deal maximum damage on this game. Okay, and those are good things about Zidane. But what about his capabilities as a character? First, he is quite tanky because he has 50% physical and magic evasion. So yes, 50%, one of the highest physical evasion, physical and magic evasion on this game. So yes, it is pretty insane. And talking about Brave Shift form limit burst, it is one of the best or the most damaging physical limit burst on the game. Because if you use it twice, it can deal 295 times base damage. So just imagine if you max his limit burst damage passive and combine it with that 300% limit burst damage buff which come from his STMR. He can deal insane amount of damage, okay? So 7 times let's say 300 about 2000 damage modifier combine that with killers and wow he is op okay and his breath shift form has permanent support dispel okay so you can use it anytime you want but the bad news is his breath shift form has duration and it has long cooldown so it is one of his weakness what about his other weakness the first thing is his limit burst require 80 limit burst crystals and based on what I see on his abilities he doesn't have something like that able something to fill his limit burst gauge to full sure he able to give let's say like 150% limit burst fill rate to all allies but for Limit burst gauge, he only able to give 40 limit burst gauge crystals to all allies except himself. So I can say he is quite hard to use if you don't have someone who able to entrust limit burst to him. And yes, knowing that I believe he will be very good when you pair him with let's say uh, Warrior of like Bards. Because Warrior of Like Bards able to use his entrance, wing, and he has full limit burst on the first turn. And he can support everyone who use limit burst on your party. Okay, so really interesting. And what about his STMR? That is a weakness. First of all, not all characters able to equip this STMR. Based on what I see, it is like male bards who able to equip this mostly okay but yeah the point here is he able to equip it but not all characters 
And to get that 300% limit burst damage, you need to wait for 5 turns. So yes, he is amazing, but for Dark Vision, I can say maybe he is not the best character. Okay, because you need to wait until 5 turns to get that 300%. But again, if what you need is 250%, he can do that. Simply bring Entraster and use his normal form limit burst on the first turn. Tada! 250% limit burst damage right from the start. Okay, so pretty interesting character. I will review him later, but that's it for now. Now let's take a look on the Neo Vision Awakened Beatrix. So the first and the most important thing about NVA Beatrix is she is a free unit. So yes, like uh, King Moog NVA unit, you can get her Prism, her Trust Moogle, and her STMR Moogle. So yes, it is very easy to make her into NVA unit. But what's so special about her NVA? Because I can say that her 7 stars is just mediocre character. Actually pretty good back then, but at this point, kinda so-so. But yes, the good thing about her is her breath shift form is AoE magic cover so it is a good news for you who don't have real neo vision aoe magic cover okay you get one for free and the most important thing is she has 75 percent damage mitigation on her limit burst on breath she form okay so that's pretty op i have said on previous week that edward elric i mean elric brothers is pretty good because they can give you like 70% damage mitigation. Now we get the 75% version. Okay, so this is really amazing. And the best part about her is she has true breath she form. Usually, some weakness that Neo Vision Tank has is yes, maybe their breath she form are tank but their normal form is like a taker so if they die then you are kind of fuck up because you will back on normal form and yes you cannot go into breath she form immediately but for Patrick, because she has to breath she form if she dies and you resurrect her she can go back into breath she form immediately so she can protect your party again. So that's very nice. And she also has dual cast for all magics. And like you know that Gumi have upgraded magics on this game. And based on Japan, from what I see that her magics can give you like 200% spirit and 50% magic mitigation. Which is very useful on battle. Okay, and her spirit stats is also pretty decent. She gets like 1000 static spirit boost. And yes, correct me if I'm wrong, but from what I see, she gets 400% spirit boost. So that's kind of surprising, guys, because that means you have maxed her spirit. Not sure. But yes, I can say her spirit is not her weakness. And my problem with her is she doesn't have triple cast. Why it is important? Because that means she cannot become your backup chainer. She has some nice abilities to chain, okay? She has Cast Wave Awaken, she has Stardust Ray, but because she doesn't have triple cast, maybe it's kind of annoying. And on her normal form, I can say that her normal form is pretty useless. She has triple cast on normal form, but... Yes, the damage modifier is pretty low, but again, if you only want to use her as a support chainer, you can do that, okay? Cover and then go back to normal form, but make sure you have high spirit on normal form, which is not her speciality because her normal form is meant to become an attacker or whatever, okay? But yes, that's it for the characters on this week. Now the final question, should you summon? So yes, the reason for you to summon is very easy. If you really want to maximum your damage, let's say for Trial, for Dark Vision, then yes, of course, 
you need that Zidane STMR. I I know I have said that he's not that good on dark vision because you need to wait for five turns. But still, if you really want to max your damage, you can simply equip your party so they can take zero damage on the turn one to turn four, and then deal the finishing blow on the turn five. Can you you can do that, okay? Because that 300% limit burst damage is insane. And yes, no matter what heroes you use, this STMR gonna be always useful, okay? No matter evoker, mage, physical DPS, as long as they use limit burst, Zidane is insane. The STMR, I mean. And yes, I know Beatrix is free, but if you really want to make her great, maybe you want to max her spirit stats so they can, I mean, she can stand toe in toe with real AoE magic cover, okay? And please don't summon if you don't care about that 300% limit burst damage buff, okay? Let's say you use Terra. And you don't think you need that 250% limit burst damage buff from Zidane normal limit burst. After all, the battle hardly lasts that long. So maybe you think that, oh, after using two grandis, the enemy is probably going to be dead. So you don't need that Zidane limit burst damage, okay? If that's the case, then yes, you do not need to summon for Zidane. Okay, and the second reason is easy. Beatrix is free. And you maybe already have another real Neo Vision tank. For me, I already have VC, so I don't really need that Beatrix except for 75% damage mitigation. But I also have Elric Brothers, so again, I don't need that mitigation that much. Okay, so that's my thought on this banner on this week. And yes, I think. If you really don't care about that limit burst damage, just keep this banner, okay? It's it's probably better for you to save your lapis until Final Fantasy VII. But again, even when Final Fantasy VII comes out, I believe this 300% limit burst damage still gonna be useful for those characters. Okay? So yeah, I think that's all you need to know about this banner. Thank you very much for watching. Please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more Final Fantasy. Bye, guys. Bye-bye, guys.